Hello, it's a privilege to join you on day eight of your 21 days of prayer and fasting. My name is Tim and I'm part of the team at Ivy Church in Manchester. I don't know about you, but I've always been secretly jealous of people who have heard the audible voice of God. That is until someone said to me, God only speaks as loud as he needs to. If he has to shout, it's because you aren't listening. In the Gospels, there are only three occurrences of the audible voice of God being heard. The first is at Jesus' baptism. The second is in John 12, when Jesus is addressing the crowd about his death, and also in the transfiguration. The transfiguration is the only time that an instruction is given to the people present. In that holy moment, when the disciples see Jesus as he really is, a voice comes from heaven and says, This is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. This simple instruction is the key to being a follower of Jesus. Listen to him. It's not always easy, but it isn't complicated. Making time to clear away distractions to listen to Jesus is our most important work. I say work because it does take work. It takes effort to resist the temptation to just send one other WhatsApp or watch another episode of whatever it is you're into right now. It doesn't just happen. So. How do we listen to Jesus? Well, I heard it said once, if you want to hear God speak, read the Bible out loud. The more we get to know God's voice through his word, the more easily we are able to follow his lead as we navigate life in the modern world. There are so many other voices, so many false shepherds that want to lead you away with a glistening array of false hopes and empty promises. However, the promise that brings life in scripture is that for those who have learned to hear the voice of Jesus, in John 10, 5, it says this, but they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognise a stranger's voice. So my question for you today is this, how can you make time today to be alone with the true shepherd, the one that laid down his life for you and hear his voice?